really a key. Uh, we need to understand what authority we have, what authority everybody has. What reserve powers exist, what do I know, needs, needs to run up the, the ladder to the second in command or the, or the chief executive officer of the hospital versus what needs board approval. I think there are some key clinical things that you look at, especially in the recruitment process. Okay, and it's really interesting. Tony mentioned doc, you know, hospitals love doctors. Doctor groups are a little bit more cautious on recruitment because we think about, will it cannibalize my volume? And therefore, it's going to be paid for by me making less in the historical physician world, dealing with, wow, we maybe we don't have enough patient volume for me to see or for us to hire a new doctor. So you have to balance that, but there are key things. I think you want to make sure that you have strong input on who's hired, the quality of that physician, making sure that your physicians have a key role in how they're going to be involved in the interview process and the final go, no, go decision on recruitment. I think it gets a little bit tricky in terms of how governance is going to work, and it's really critical when you build a department that has multiple groups coming together. And oftentimes you'll see the integration, the physician hospital integration, may involve three, four, two groups of the same specialty, so you better design how you're all going to work together because you really don't want paralysis inside of your new relationship. You want to have a defined structure a little bit of a voting structure, not a little bit, a lot of a voting structure. You want to make sure that you have tiebreaker options, et cetera, in terms of how we're going to work inside the system.